Hello everybody, this is Tifa's Revenge here. Welcome back to Let's Play Megazoox Red. In the last episode, um, we did a little bit of grinding, and we have uh, one of the first quests in the game. So, right now, I'm up to level 4. I've got a scimitar, and off screen I also bought some more ammo for the bow here. So I've got 30 fire arrows. You'll soon see why I bought 30 fire arrows. But for now, I'm just going to equip the scimitar. Because I've got a heavy shield, chainmail. And notice that the battle arts I have are battle cry and defensive bows, boosted allies, attack, or defense. So, with that being said, we're going to go into this new cave here the abandoned mine. So, there's a bounty hunt that we have to go and fight. Some sort of monster is hanging around in here somewhere. And somebody else has already beat us to it. Oh, battle time. Cave bad And I'm gonna die. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna die. Fortunately I've also got some pulpuses. And we'll use that if we need our party members. Fortunately, they don't hit for very much, so I can just one shot them all here, just like that. Bye bye, bat. Missed me. Actually, Let's see, how much money do I have? 92. Okay, so go down here into this cave here. We got a voice that says, Wait! Oh, there's another girl here. Girl, I wouldn't go in there. What? The monster is tough. It can also be regenerated. I do not. <laughs> I, I don't think it's much of a threat to the town while it's in there, but it can't be left alone. I could probably take it out anyway. If you try, I'll wait some of I'll write those words across your, your headstone. Do you know any fire art? Yeah, like I know any fire art. What if I do? Fire seems to hurt it badly and stop the regeneration for a time. If not, make yourself useful by getting fire arrows from the weapons store. Get 30 or more. Well, you've already got 30. My name is Karen, by the way. I took the task of getting rid of this thing, so I'll take responsibility for it, but I can't kill it at the moment. If you help me get rid of this thing, I'll portion some of the bounty to you. I have some fire arrows. Let's have a look. All right, very good. Now, let's go see how much that creature has healed up in the time we've wasted. All right, now what you want to do is equip the bow and equip your fire arrows. They do 1.5 damage. And notice we've got another party member in, in our party here. That's Karen. She's got a carved bow, but she also has a scimitar. And she also has 30 arrows as well, so that's pretty nice. Leather armor and a bracelet. Now, if you want to, you can go back to town, go get yourself another shield or something. I'm curious. If we have the bow, we can equip the heavy shield while we have the bow. That's kind of interesting. I thought those were two-handed, but who knows? All right, now it's boss time. It's the skull worm. All right, what you want to do is just keep attacking. He's weak against fire. Now notice I don't have any battle art. It's because I switched the bow. I haven't been using the bow that much. Yeah, see, we're, we're taking this thing down pretty fast. Die! <laughs> okay, now, notice our HP is about halfway down. 
don't want to have to heal all. I feel like you have to like, aim here. Fortunately, I leveled up a bit on screen. So we should be okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was my mouse. And... Boss down. Da 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 Yeah, I wish they had victory music in this, but unfortunately I I'd have to mess with the code of the game and seeing as how I don't know how to do that um too well. I don't know uh Megazix Robotic. <laughs> I was actually talking to one of the guys and Maybe they'll release a new version of this that has victory music after you after you kill an enemy. But we'll see. Anyway, we did it! Alright. There's your share of the bounty. Six thousand coins! So it must have been twelve thousand coins! It's over nine thousand! What? Nine thousand? Oh, wrong game. <laughs> By the way, I still don't know your name. Actually, I don't even know my name! It's a funny story about that. And I, she goes and tells your story. Oh, I see. Hmm. You don't seem especially surprised. I suppose it's a story I'm familiar with. The clothing you wear... You were wearing when you woke up. Did you search it? Uh, no. I, did, I guess I didn't think to. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Looks like she's searching her clothes. Huh? What's this? It has a picture on it. Yeah, that's you. Me? That's not me. Huh? That's really me? Yes, the writing next to it should be your name. Sophia? Hmm. It's not too bad. Sophia, I guess I'll keep it. Very well. Wait, we don't get to name our creep. Our, our, uh, <laughs> creature. We don't get to name our main character? What the heck? Well, uh, seeing as it how this game is, um, made by somebody else, you know, it's not always a bad thing not to be able to name your guys. Well, it's nice to meet you, Sophia. Let's return to the town. Alright, and that's it. So, now we have more party members! Alright, so... We're going to start heading back to the town. But before we head back to the town, I'm going to do a little bit more exploring here. So, what I'm going to do... Uh, let's start everybody up. There we go. Just in case you want to any battles. Now, I didn't... Um, I didn't switch back to the scimitar yet. But there's a reason for that. I want to see if I can't learn some new skills as well. Because as you notice there, Karen has a multi-shot bow. So I want to see if I can't get something like that on Sophia. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, doesn't look like we, that we've um, gained any skills, so I'm gonna just go back to the car and kill these guys. Yeah, that goblin runt, he's a little bit stronger than some of the enemies that we have encountered before. And it looks like you're out of. Oh, so the ammo is shared. I see. So we had three um, arrows for in our entire party. probably prepared a little bit more, but oh well. Anyway, yeah, that's what happens if you run out of ammo. You can't do anything. Da -da -da -da, dun -dun -dun -da -da. Sound like Prompto from FF15, don't I? <laughs> Nostrum, what is that? Oh, it's like a mana potion. It restores 50 energy. That's good. So, 
we're gonna go back this way. That goes back to the boss. And you can see from like the outline there in the cave, that's the boss area. These guys aren't too threatening right now, so what we can do is we can take them on. Okay, so she looks like she has a carved bow, not a regular bow. That's why she was um, using up two arrows at once, and that's how we ran out of ammo so fast. Okay, that makes sense. He's Looks like I, I probably should have been using my scimitar against them, but oh well. Alright, now we're out. So let's do a little save here. You didn't see anything else up there. Alright, now we're back in town. Alright, I think I'll go home now. My place is between the inn and the weapon store. If you need anything, feel free to drop by. Pop by. See ya! Wait! I thought you were gonna join us permanently! Oh well, maybe she'll be back later. So, now that we have enough gold here, we have over 6,000 gold. Let's buy the, well, yeah, we have to go over here to buy it. Can I buy it? Sure, for 5,500 coins, let's buy it. So you could have actually ground all the way up. Are you all right there? I didn't expect this to be this heavy. <laughs> I'm drinking this thing. Oh my god. You want some help? Thanks, but I uh, should be uh, fine. Sophia trying to act all tough. Uh, that thing's made of stone. Alright, so now we're back in the unknown cave where that light was. Ever again! Puh, finally! Alright! Where's that stupid light? Oh! Light? Marionette? Question mark? You did it! You actually found a marionette! Parentheses in parentheses. Thank you, I can see now. No problem. Well, I'm still good out of breath. Actually, it was a bit of a problem. You're welcome. Was it that you were saying before about the world ending? Huh? But you... Well, never mind. There is going to be a burst of deadly rays from the sun seven days from now that no one can survive. Ominous. How do you know about this? Question mark? I can sense it. What, are you like Goku or something? You can sense all that stuff far away? <laughs> yeah, right. When I was drifting across the divide, I could tell that there was nothing that could stop it. I think I now have something to do about it, or I have to do something about it. Yeah, I'm sure she has something to do about it, too. It's the sun. What can you do to stop it from doing that? At the heart of the world, there is a red altar to which one can pray and raise a shield that will block these deadly rays. It requires vast power to maintain this shield, but there are there is power available. The only difficulty is getting to the red altar. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, but this rests on me now. You've already helped me immeasurably. Please leave the rest to me. Hold on. I don't really understand what's going on here, but I'm lost here. I don't remember anything. Yeah, remember we got amnesia. Can I come along? I don't know really what else to do. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. The truth is, I don't know myself. My knowledge of the world is very limited. I don't even know where the red altar is or how to get to it. That will make this task somewhat difficult. 
sure, but it's got to be done. All right, let's go. Eh, hold on a second. Do you have a name? It feels very weird to be having this conversation, but I'm Amy. I am Sophia. I think so. Nice to meet you, Amy. That's what this thing says, anyway. Let me see that. Ah, oh, yes. You've got one, too. See? Amy. So I guess she has an ID card or whatever that is. How do you have one? It was in the marionette's clothes. Huh. Well, that's some piece of information the shopkeeper didn't give us. What the hell? So it's not even necessarily your name? No, it's my name. It's my marionette, after all. I'm not going to even pretend to understand, but okay. Sophia, do you know where the nearest town is? Yeah, I can take you there. Yeah, well, weren't we just there? We just dragged your freaking ass all the way over here. <laughs> that would be a good place to start. At least you can walk on your own now. All right. With that being said, let's go back to the town. Maybe we can go back and see how Karen's doing. And get some more battles here. And I've got too hard. Now let's take a look at Amy and her equipment. We've got dual swords, which have um, 1.6 attack, 0.5 accuracy, though. So, enemies can dodge it, but she does 1.6 times attack, so it's kind of like a multiplier. Sometimes she'll deal two, two hits, or maybe just one. You know, it's a probability calculation. Um, got a blink dress plus 30% to dodge or we can equip her with the leather armor. I think for, for now we'll just keep her with that. And it doesn't look like she has a bracelet. So all the stuff that I got from, oh no, that was leather armor that I had previously unequipped. So I just gave her a bracelet. So, we've already been in here. This is the first game. Also known as the Unknown Cave. Yeah, see, so look at that damage. She's powerful. Who'd have think that a marionette could be so deadly? Well, I don't know. I mean, they were kind of deadly in FF9. Remember Zorn and Thorn? <laughs> Wait, how do we get out of here? I don't remember. Let's go this way. I think we need to go this way and get into some more encounters. <laughs> I'll just hum the victory theme from now on if you guys like. <laughs> Alright, can we get into encounters? Yes, we can. On the world map now. And look at that. There's a mod. Those look very familiar for me, too. But I don't think they're exactly the same sprites. They're just very sweet. And they can poison you, so we want to get rid of them first. Yes. Oh, the Gotham Run was actually uh, doing a block. So, like, you can guard. That. And you can either guard yourself, which you get like half damage, or you can block in front of somebody else. That's pretty cool. Alright, since we got the ability fight set. Alright, now we're making our way back to town of Warwick. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna leave too, Amy. What's the matter? Does the landmass we are on only cover this small area? As far as I can tell, yes. This isn't good. We will need to find some way of getting to the mainland. There is very little that can be done. Hmm. 
Hmm, that might be difficult. Okay, good, she is leaving. <laughs> that would be bad. Alright, now... Sorry about that, guys. It looked like my microphone was cutting out for a bit there. So, I apologize if that seemed to have happened. <laughs> Alright, now... Looks like we're back in the item shop here. Um, maybe we can talk to Karen, but will we ever find a way out of this town? How do we get back to the mainland? You're gonna have to wait to find out. Until then, this is Tifa's Revenge signing off, and have a great day.